Okay, so here's a, I'm Andres uh, Morales with Cyberbox. And we're here with Natalia, and I really can't pronounce it. That's okay, name. I'll tell you. It's Natalia Nogolic. And I play Admiral Alina Necheyev in Next Generation TNG. And <laughs> that's your most famous role. Uh, other than that one, do you have another famous role? Or, oh, like, yes. or I mean, sorry, I meant favorite role. Uh, oh, favorite. Yeah. Well, um, I played in A Christmas Vacation which gets a lot of, a lot of uh, play and a lot of popularity. I played the boss's wife who <laughs> condemns him for not giving them a raise. I played Jack Nicholson's wife in Hoffa. I like that role a lot. A lot of my favorite roles are on stage. You know, yeah. I uh, mean, I, I had a gobbler and um, Once in a Lifetime and Taming of the Shrew and, you know, uh, classical pieces. I, I, I really enjoyed being on stage. Um, other uh, other things on television that have been a lot of fun. I did an episode of Criminal Minds, which was very powerful. And uh, of course, I've done a lot of comedy, Frasier, Casey Undercover, Drake and Josh, just you know, lots of things, which you can find out from my website. But the thing about Admiral Necheyev, two things. One is she was uh, a, a character that would normally be cast as a man but they cast her as a woman, a superior officer to Captain Picard. So that was unusual and it was challenging and it was fun because it was in the early 90s when they weren't casting women in those strong parts. And the second thing was I didn't realize that it was going to go on. I thought I was being hired for one episode and then it ended up being five and then I went to DS9 and I did two with Cisco and then after that all of these uh, conventions so it was like a gift that keeps on giving which I had no conception of uh, when I first you know took the job so uh, that it's easy for that to be a favorite of mine I believed in her I believed what she said I believed um, that she was committed to the Federation you know uh, and that Picard had a little different view of the way things should be but when you're acting, what you need to do is join the consciousness of the character. You have to become one with what that character is thinking. And if it's somebody that is not liked, well, you have to be willing to do that. Yeah, and I noticed you are completely different to your character. You are a joy to talk to, Thank a you. joy to be around. Thank you. Um, I, I see that you do a lot of uh, guest work on TV. Yes. And I found that amazing. Like, I didn't even know. Um, I don't watch too much TV these days. That's all right. Um, you also mentioned that you were in Broadway. Uh, yes, I did three, three Broadway shows. The, uh, the first was Hurley Burley with William Hurt and Harvey Keitel. And I was uh, understudying Sigourney Weaver. And she went off to get married, and I got to go into the part, which was fantastic. The next one was uh, with Jason Robards, uh, The Iceman Cometh. And the third one, which was my favorite because I had the lead, it was called Accomplice. And it was with Jason Alexander, the guy who played George on Seinfeld. It was a comedy thriller, Michael McKeon from uh, um, oh, Lenny and uh, from, um, I can't remember the name of the show, but you know him. And, uh, and I, I loved that a lot. I loved being on Broadway. But, but uh, film and Broadway are both great. They're just different. In, I would describe it this way. I would say being on, a, on stage is like long distance running. You have to be able to endure and keep going and remember your lines and not quit. And on film, it's like a sprinter who runs a short distance, really good cut, boom, and then you go on to some, you know, to do it again or to go on to something else. So they're two different muscles, if you if you will. Hey, well, I got you on, on describing the difference and everything. I uh, I saw I, I just checked your IMDb really quickly just to be sure. Mm -hmm. I saw that you did a video game. Uh, you voice acted on yeah, it. Which, I don't remember. It was time. Rumble to Rumble. Or oh something yeah, like Rumble and Rumble, Rumble and Trouble yeah. or something yeah. like that. Uh, how was it working uh, on a video game? I'll tell you what. So video games, I would love to do more. There, to me, after doing Broadway and films, they're easy. 
because you just go in there with the character, you have the line, you give it what you want, the director says, I want a little more of this, a little more of that, a little more pepper, a little more salt, a little more paprika, whatever the director wants, you give it to him, boom, and then you go on to the next thing. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Doing a play or creating a full character is uh, much more time consuming and demanding, but they're all good. You know, I consider it all part of the work of an actor, whether it's video game, voiceover, um, theater, uh, TV, film. Uh, it's, all, it's all part of telling a story of some kind. And, uh, and I think that the world needs stories. The world needs storytellers. And that's what I signed up to be. Uh, one very last question. Uh, what was your inspiration to become an actress and, and all of this? You know? Oh, well, you know, I'll tell you, it started when I was eight years old. I was taking ballet classes and I was such a show off. I would get on the table at home and show my mother my ballet things. And she looked at me one day and she said, you need to take a, a drama lessons. And uh, you obviously like being, you know, in the, I said, okay, but I like my ballet. So I kept up the ballet, but then I got into drama and I was eight years old when I did my first play. It was called The Clue of the Red Ribbon. And somehow I was able to memorize the lines. And after that, it was, you know, forget off to ballet, the races. Yeah, forget ballet. Exactly. Well, one reason is you can work as an actress a lot longer than you can work as a ballerina. Ballerina, 22, you're retired, you know? Do you still remember any of uh, Oh, yeah, ballet? I love ballet, and I love to watch it, and I, I don't do it anymore, but I, I, uh, it's got a warm place in my heart. It'll always have a piece of my heart. So uh, I think we'll leave you with this, because I think thank you. Thank you. a lot more than five minutes. Well, that's all right. Oh, it was sorry. my pleasure. Thank you uh, so much. I had a great time. Uh, Good time. Awesome. You too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and uh, this is Andres signing off from Cyber. That was awesome. That's how I